Hello. This is a video for Bozy. Bozy, I know you're watching, even though you haven't answered your phone or texts in a while. I know you see your name in the title of this video and you're watching right now. I'm making this video because there are things that I need to say. I'm not going to be reminiscing about the past or this isn't a love letter. I don't know what it is. But you have to watch all the way through to the end, even if... I was an idiot before because I didn't know myself and I'm pretty sure you still don't know yourself either. Which is why you have to listen to what I have to say. I don't know where you are or what you're doing that I can now honestly say that I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for letting our shallow and selfish relationship take over my life. Did you know that while I was with you, I didn't write one sentence? You demanded every moment of my attention and I just wasn't strong enough to separate myself from you and your moods. Every party was an opportunity for you to get drunk and show off and insult people that you thought weren't as cool as us. And I, I hated that. Do you know what my best memory is right now? Me and Robbie last summer went down to St Kilda and we just got fish and chips and went to the pier and just hung out. There was no expensive alcohol, there was no party, there was no drama. We just sat there eating the fish and chips, talking about music and art and movies and stuff and it was just, it was easy. But with you nothing was ever easy. You were always unpredictable. Your mood could change from, from furious to happy in an instant. I was constantly on edge whenever I was with you, fearing that you would turn on me at any second. I knew I had to break it off, but I just was so... I cared about you too much. And maybe I was scared of you. Not scared, just... Afraid you'd make a scene. When I tried to distance myself from you, you would constantly call and text me and ask to see me. I knew it was because you cared about me, but I just felt like I was drowning in you. And then when I'd refuse to see you, you'd get angry at me. I started to feel like I was just a shiny new accessory to you. And when I wasn't around, you couldn't show me off. Then I got sick and I was too boring for you to hang around. You acted like I'd chosen to be sick just to annoy you. You were jealous of everyone that I talked to. And you drove me away from my friends, the people that really cared about me. And then your dad started harassing me with his horrible opinions and suddenly I'm trapped. Your dad was sending me hate mail and you're getting angry at me over the smallest of things. You know, you're just like him. You're just like your dad. You both have these vile tempers and you attack people with words. I never wanted to be caught up in some family feud. I just, I should never have posted those videos online. The messages, the hate mail, I should never have let you talk me into it, but you were blinded by the hatred that you have for your father and it made you happy to put me in the firing line just so you could have your revenge. And the next thing I know, I'm being called into the police station and I never damaged your father's car. That was you. I mean, I think it was you. It was probably you. I took the blame for it anyway out of some stupid loyalty. And then after all this, after you practically screw over my life, you don't even want to see me anymore. 
is it because everyone thinks I'm a total fucker? Is it because I'm not interesting anymore? I'd like to think it's because whatever decency you may have leaves you feeling responsible for what's happened. I don't know how you could ever have been a good boyfriend if you were never a good friend in the first place. After everything that's happened, Bozy, I really want to hate you. But I can't. And that's the difference between you and me. I can't stand the thought of hating anybody but you. You live off your hate. I don't know if I can ever completely forgive you for all of this. But I suppose in part I already have. I know you care about me, Bozy. But you can't love anyone more than you love yourself. I hope that if this video can't teach you anything about about love that maybe it can teach you something about remorse